ディディリデュー。えー、ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルル They can sit there and they can fight with Sony, and、uh, who knows what Canon's going to do. Their full frame、um, mirrorless camera is a nasty flop. I absolutely love reading、uh, the guy over on EOS HD, who's a big、uh, Canon fan and Canon guru.、Uh, foam at the mouth like a rabid dog. I like his website. He's really funny and a brilliant guy.、Um, so, well, Canon. And Nikon and Sony are going to be fighting over、um, mirrorless full frame cameras.、Uh, let's, let's talk about something here really interesting. Let's just see how smart Fujifilm is. Because Fujifilm, and this is not my position, these are the direct words of Fujifilm themselves. Yes, they said exactly this Fujifilm is not that big of a company. Quote unquote from Fujifilm. And they're not compared to. Nikon and Canon. Sony, I really don't count in because Sony's not a camera company, they're a consumer electronics company. But nevertheless, they're a big sensor supplier, but all that's going to change、uh, pretty soon.、Um, but here's what、uh, Fujifilm has done. Okay? Let's just look at where we are right now. Right now, Fujifilm is absolutely selling the dog piss and hell and gone out of the X-T3. The X-T2 is an incredibly great value. Then they got the X-T20 and Who knows next year if they're going to come out the XT30? That's only pure speculation on my part. They have the digital rangefinder X100F, and they had the X100T, and they may have another, another iteration in 2019.、Uh, they have the XH1, which is an incredible camera with IBIS. The IBIS is about to get heavily upgraded, as Fujifilm just announced two days ago. The IBIS is about to vastly improve and work together. With OIS. This is Fujifilm's direct quote on their website from a couple days ago about firmware coming out within the next three weeks. So, right now, I'm going to conservatively say, and the important point is right after this, conservatively say that Fujifilm is number one in、uh, crop sensor cameras. <clears throat> right. Number one in crop sensor cameras. Right. Mirrorless crop sensor? That's soon not to make any difference because there's no such thing as a mirrorless image, and you have to. Hold for that for a sec. There's no such thing as a mirrorless versus a DSLR image. I don't know if you know this or not, but that mirror flips up out of the way. You know, there's no such thing as a mirrorless image versus a DSLR image. There's only a digital image. It's the only different type of mechanism between a DSLR and mirrorless, and I know all the differences between the two. So now、um, let's take a look at something else really important. I cannot wait, and I'm going to rub the paint off that camera when I get it in my damn hands here in about 10 days or so. The GFXR、uh, rangefinder, digital rangefinder, same sensor and engine as found in the GFX 50S, which I also happen to, know, happen to own, and I happen to own all of the、uh, GFX lenses, all seven of them that are currently available. Can't wait for that 50 millimeter pancake to drop sometime in February or March of next year. I assume, according to Fujifilm, that's what's going to drop. Within one and a half years, which is what has been since the GFX 50S has dropped, We now have three medium format cameras from Fujifilm. The GFXR, which is about to drop here in 10 or 12 days, and the beginning of next year, the 100 megapixel. I've heard something very interesting that I can't tell you about the 100 megapixel GFX camera. It's quite fascinating, actually, and it explains a lot about the IBIS mech that's in there.、Um, I never needed IBIS, but if this is true, what I heard about it, that's fascinating. But I digress a little bit. So now we have three medium format cameras. Who the hell's got a medium format camera on Sony, Canon, or Nikon's front? Nobody. Nobody. And right now, after one and a half years, Fujifilm is number one for digital medium format. I don't know if you know how many cameras Phase One puts out, but I hear it's like 11 a month. You know, not too many people are buying 40,、uh, 40 50,000, 60,000 cameras, right? I would love to have one. That's wonderful. Is undeniable, and I posted a video a few days ago with、uh, several raw, untouched images from the GFX, and everybody said the same thing. Oh my god, wow! What everybody's done until now is take a look at like, some JPEG images 
from the GFX. And you're like, yeah, this image is really nice, but I don't see what's so special about it. I could do the same thing with my Nikon DA50. And I was like, oh, that's a JPEG. <laughs> Take a look at a full-size RAW file. And when people do, I was like, here's a link to a full RAW, RAW file on my Google Drive, go take a look at it. And it's the difference between this and, oh my God! Everybody knows that, don't deny it. So right now, Fujifilm is number one for medium format. They got everybody beat by miles on medium format. Let me tell you something else. This is not my opinion, this is a fact. Have you ever laid your hand on a $40,000 phase one? I have, you ever laid your hand on a, I almost bought one a few years ago. Have you ever laid your hand on a $23,000 Mamiya Leaf Credo? Exact same sensor in the Fujifilm GFX. Exact same sensor. $23,000, you laid your hand on that camera? Let me just use the words cheap and plasticky. You know, you could actually squeeze it. And fit. GFX has got the uh, fastest autofocus of any medium format camera. It's the best built of any medium format camera. And yet, with those two things, it's still the cheapest medium format camera. You could get used GFX 50S's right now. I've seen more than a few around about $4,800 used on eBay. Not too many because almost nobody parts with that camera. What do you think it's going to be like in like a year and a half? The used GFX 50S's and the used GFX uh, rangefinders. So Fujifilm right now owns everybody's ass for medium format. I rightfully suggest that Fujifilm owns everybody's... But have you ever seen a camera? And I, I named it. This is my subjective opinion, but I think it's objectively valid that this is the best value camera ever to drop out. All-purpose and professional level cameras. The Fujifilm X-T3 for $1,500. That's incredibly cheap. This. Best value. Incredible camera. So, right now Fuji owns it for crop sensor camera. D500 is still amazing. I'm filming my ugly face right now with an Icon D500 crop sensor camera. So, Fujifilm owns it on crop sensor. And they own everybody's ass undeniably on medium format. So <laughs> what's your question again about full frame? Well, you got Canon and Nikon and Sony murdering each other on the battlefield with attrition of God knows how many bodies, you know, laying in the field. But bodies, I mean, endless amount of money spent. Fujifilm, the small company that it is, owns everybody's butt on crop sensor and medium format. Do, do you see the importance of that? That's kind of like uh, something from Sun Tzu about circling your enemy. You know, surrounding them. So, it's like Fujifilm is sitting up on the cliff, uh, owning uh, medium format and crop sensor, and you got Nikon and Canon and Sony, you know, killing each other down in the valley over full frame. <laughs> part of that laugh was fake, but part of it was real. You know what? Don't you think that's slightly important? I mean, you kind of realize the value of that. I mean, you kind of see, you're able to step back and see the big picture. Nobody's, nobody's kind of talking about that, you know? They want to talk about so-and-so this and so-and-so that, you know, this camera, man, man. Why don't you just take a step back, take a look at the big picture here. Fujifilm dominates medium format in every way it can be dominated, and they pretty much dominate crop sensors. Let everybody else piss and fight and murder each other out in the valley there over full frame. Brilliant move from a relatively small company. Actually, it's, it's better than brilliant. <laughs> you gotta admit. Seriously, you have to admit that that's true. You have to. Seriously. And wait for it. Fujifilm. Uvidimse, do svidanya. Aloha. If you like these videos, please click the link below. Let me know if you have any questions. I like field endless questions on, you know, Fujifilm lenses and whatnot. I mean, I guess I'm like 24 hour free tech support. Sometimes when my computer goes ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> it's like it's, I'll get like 10 emails and within one minute I'll go like oh that's not very nice that's what the computer my computer makes that sound when it gets email ding, and I'll be like eating something right trying to relax a little bit at like 2 o'clock in the morning and my computer will go ding 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Too many emails. Too many. And Fujifilm.